The Uganda Law Society launched the fourth quarterly report 2022 in partnership with justice law and order sector, development partners and other stakeholders. What topped the report are the arbitrary detentions and illegal arrests carried out by security operatives. And if you arrest a citizen, you have four fundamental obligations. Number one, you must tell him what is the charge or what offense he has committed. Number two, you must give him access to a doctor, to a lawyer and his next of kin. Number three, you must only detain him in a gazetted place. We have also recommended to government, the police, uh, the director of public prosecutions, that don't arrest citizens before investigations are complete. I asked the UPDF Deputy Chief of Legal Services, Colonel Moses Wandera, to comment on the alleged illegal arrests and detentions. If you name, you are able to bring evidence that is what will enable us to be able to prosecute such errant officers and men. The U.S. Embassy brought it to the attention of the Army that there are reports that the suspects are detained in ungazetted areas. Now, one of the places that has been um, noted frequently over, over many years as a, an ungazetted facility for detaining um, civilians and possibly also military members is the Chiefancy of Military Intelligence Headquarters in Mubuya. If a person is arrested that night, he, ha he or she is suspected to have committed a capital offense in the presence of a soldier and the soldier and the nearest detention facility is a military detention facility. That is the civilian I'm talking about who will be taken to a military detention facility and the regulation governing the detention of such civilians requires that within 24 hours this person should have been taken to a military uh, court. Kanuandera says when the army intends to carry out any arrests of civilians, it must be done in collaboration with the police. For now, the army has tasked the public to report the illegal arrests and provide evidence to the force. The judiciary has been applauded for taking a strong position to acquit any suspects who have been tortured during detention by any of the security agencies. But the ping pong between the security forces, especially the police and the army, continues over the illegal arrests because the army says that whenever they are picking civilians, they do it in the presence of the police. But even when some of the families are missing their persons and they go and report to police, the police says that they don't know their whereabouts. And therefore it becomes a very abstruse situation, especially for the common person. And it's not clear when all this will come to an end. Sudil Gyarhanga, NTV.